guys welcome back to the channel this is the second part of this um, trailer restoration so basically what we're going to do we're going to take all the old wood out of there all the old fixings off we've got even fixings for uh, here for the chain to hold the back door on and uh, these eyelets here for the chain now what else we've got to do is these we're going to use these again they've been going for long enough so these are just the mud guards and they're held on by bolts uh, that's in the side going through this uh, board so we'll use them so what we'll do first we'll take these off and then we'll show you this dismantling the uh, the wood taking the wood off of this and uh, then we shall have a little look at the frame we'll get it on its side and we'll see if there's any welding needs done on the frame and uh, we'll go back to you then So we've done a lot of the grinding on there, but there's still a lot more to do. Unfortunately, at the moment it's raining. We're going to have to get the wheels off as well to get right the side there. To get in here, we'd have to take the wheels off eventually, which we're going to do. But uh, got a lot of stuff rubbed down today. We're doing really well. Uh, once this is all rubbed down, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a lot of welding. I think what we're gonna do is we've got two beams here, two of these members here, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one off, and I'm gonna put it to this side here, maybe from there, so that we've got uh, we've got one of these angle irons either side um, if I've got another angle iron I would actually put a couple on but unfortunately I've not got any so we'll use what we've got and uh, we're going to carry on uh, grinding and if it went next time when we're on to the welding part of it we'll show you uh, and uh, like I say, it's just raining today, so. But we've done a heck of a lot there. We're just gonna do a bit of clearing up and then we'll get back to you next time. Thanks a lot, bye. Okay, so we're on the welding stage part of it. Still got a lot of uh, rubbing down to do, a lot of the rust removal and things like that. But we've got now, we've took this angle iron piece here and we've taking it from here and we're moving it over to here we've got a couple of mold grips here uh, to to hold it on and Ross is just gonna tack that on uh, at that side okay, so. And also, it's going to tack it at the other end in a minute as well. Just the other end, uh, Ross, please. First, then I'll, yep, please. Okay. Very short earth lead on this uh, on this welding set that we've got. 
Okay, so... Earth lead. Earth lead, yeah. Okay. Got to make sure, guys, that you get a really good earth lead on these. Um, somewhere where it's bare, yeah, that should... That should do. And just put it where the... Okay, and then we're going to finally we're going to do this this one here either side as well. I'll just uh, get a pair of mole grips on on that middle bit there. Okay, just pull that up a wee bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Clamp that one down a little bit, and we'll get a wee tack on there. Uh, yeah. Right. So we've got we've got that one with a pair of mole grips on, so we just do a tack. We've got to remember to maybe just do about halfway before you take the mole grips off so we don't damage the uh, the mole grip pliers. little tack there and then you can put a tack right to the end there. Yeah. Okay. On that side as well, please. The other side, they were, they were, that one was welded, but uh, over the years, I think the uh, the wells broke on it. Right guys, it's just about it for that beam there. Got a wee bit more welding to do on it. We'll show you the next stage. We're just cutting some 
pipe section up there actually square box and that's going to be used as a as a strengthener for the trailer for the a-frame on the trailer um, just to make sure that it's strong right guys so we've done quite a lot of welding actually just reinforcing really I mean we've done these brackets here uh, here, 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 we're done. Put this new beam on, welded in the middle there as well. All these here. And then we come to the front here. Now to strengthen this A-frame, we've actually, we've, we've welded, uh, we've put uh, weld on either side and we've actually put this box section in here as well and just tacked it here just to further strengthen this trailer well it's getting uh, dark now so we're gonna leave it for today and we'll uh, uh, we'll get on with the next section next time all right guys thanks guys so we've been doing a bit of welding and grinding on here just to strengthen it we've put actually put some gusset plates in in here just uh, so basically what i did is i got a piece of cardboard cut it to the so it would fit and then we scribed right round a piece of metal cut the metal off with a cutting disc and then we just tacked them on and, and, and welded them on we've got, we've got a lot more welding to do we've got a um We've got to finish it off really but just to just to give you a little show show you a little bit what's happening we've got more welding we've got to do and then rub it off uh, same on the inside there we've got lots more welding my uh, welding wires run out so um, so we need to get some more uh, we can't get any more today at this time so anyway that's it that's where we are at this stage uh, the other one's just tacked then they're ready to be welded on and uh, That's it. Thanks uh, So we're just preparing for uh, To put a coat uh, uh, Amorite on there uh, We've just gone over with some brake cleaner just just in case any oil and uh, All we're doing is is just Ross is just blowing down the uh, frame with uh, high pressure hose there, pair hose, just to get off any uh, dust or any uh, brake cleaner that's in there. And then next we're going to do, um, we're going to start painting. Uh, what we, I have decided on doing is these plates that we welded and put on. I don't. I don't like the the idea because uh, I'd rather have a, a fresh piece of plate. So what we've done. Uh, so what we've done at the moment. I'm sorry, this compressor's going, so it's a bit noisy. What we've done is we've cut a couple of fresh pieces of plate, and all we need to do, we need to. We're going to take them to our. Pillow, uh, pillow drill uh, that we've got, like a bench drill, and we're going to get get them drilled properly. Much easier than using this uh, this hand drill. Okay, so we the, the one in the middle we need it's about I think that's 20 about 20 mil, and we're going to drill these about nine and a half mil each, and uh, then uh, because it's slightly different, I've put a right an R on there and I put an L on the other one for the right the left side and we'll we'll get fresh uh, fresh plate uh, better than having it uh, welded in the middle where with a bit broke uh, okay so that's uh, that's the stage that we're at at the moment so we'll catch you when we uh, when we when we paint in right guys so we've got the bottom of the trailer painted now couple of coats on there just the bottom and what we're going to do 
we'll get the thing turned over onto its put the wheels on thing turned over onto the wheels then we'll do the top okay so old plates off new plates have been drilled four bits have been drilled there and the bit in the middle where the uh, lug fits there for the uh, for the springs okay and we've uh, finished doing the bottom there um, something quite interesting I don't know if you've used them before but we used this kind of uh, saw uh, they hadn't got a the biggest they got at the shop with a 13 millimeter like this and uh, so I decided to try and use one of these hole stores um, and uh, these aren't sponsors uh, or anything but I thought I'd try and use it um, let's take this off and show you what it consists of so this is it here that's a hole saw just there we drill for locating it and you have to get uh, one of these things that you that actually screws in to there as well and you can get it off you know, pair of pliers or whatever and you can take that off, screw that off and put a different size this size is from 14 to 30 mil hole saws but uh, I found it really, I didn't know if it would work very good, but actually, excellent. Brilliant stuff, yeah. Not so bad for you know, six, six pounds fifty, you know, seven fifty dollars. Yeah, so that's fine. Pretty pleased with that. So, that's the frames all painted up. Got two, three coats of hammer right on there. Wheels on. Everything nicely painted. There's always a bit that you miss, I'm afraid. No matter what you do, you look. And there's wee bits, but anyway, so it's all on. Next job we've got to do is put the wood in. Put the wood in the frames. We've got some outdoor ply for that as well so we've got some big sheets there to apply we're gonna use yacht varnish um, uh, on it as well what we're gonna do we'll cut them first and then we'll put especially on the edges lots of a yacht varnish along there just the edge first then we'll pop them in in the frames and uh, then we shall uh, varnish the rest of it. Okay.